All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of solving a linear system of equations involving three variables. Uh, and in this case, we're going to use elimination by addition. The basic idea is you take two of the equations, um, doesn't matter which two, um, and you either have to eliminate either the x, the y, or the z. And then we take two different equations. So I think I'm going to use the first and second one to begin with. And then uh, you could either use the first and the third one or the second and the third one. Whatever variable you eliminate the first time, you have to eliminate that again. Okay, so okay, so here's the idea. I'm going to take the first equation and the second equation. 2x minus y plus z equals 3. We've got 5x plus 2y minus 3z equals 1. You can eliminate any variable you want. To me, it looks like it's going to be easiest, or at least... Um, the one I'm going to choose to eliminate is I'm going to get rid of the y's. Okay, and I want to do this by uh, elimination by addition. Well, I think if I have a negative 2y, well then when I add 2y, that would, uh, everything would, would cancel out. So I'm going to have to multiply my first equation uh, by 2, both sides of it. That's going to give us, uh, so if I distribute 2x, uh, excuse me, 2 times 2x will be 4x. 2 times negative y will be negative 2y. 2 times positive z will be 2z, and then we'll have 6 on the right side. And then I'm going to take my, my uh, other equation and just write it down just like it was. 5x plus 2y minus 3z equals 1. And now I'm going to do my elimination by addition. So I'm going to have 9x. Hey, notice the y's cancel out. Again, that's why we did it. 2z plus negative 3z will be negative 1z. And then 6 plus 1 is going to be 7. Okay, so we took the first two equations and we got rid of the y. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I think I'm going to use actually the first equation and the third equation. And again, I'm going to get rid of the y's. So if I use the first and third equations, um, I'm going to put those over here. So again, the first equation is 2x minus y plus z equals 3. The third equation, we have 2x plus y uh, minus z equals 2. And actually, I think we're going to be even in a little bit better shape here, because not only are the y's going to cancel out, it looks like, immediately. Um, actually, uh, what else is going to happen? Notice if I add these together, I'm going to get 4x um, on the, uh, the, the, my 2x plus 2x will give me 4x. Um, negative y plus y cancels out. Positive z plus a negative z also cancels out. And then we have uh, 3 plus 2, which is 5. Well, if I divide both sides by 4, I'm going to get that x equals 5 fourths. And that's good. That's already one of my values. That's going to be part of my solution. I now know what x equals already. And now I can use um, this other equation over here that we found right because this other equation involves only x and z I can plug x into that one and that's going to allow me to solve for z next and then once I know x and z I can go back and uh, figure out what y is by using one of my original equations so we have 9 times x which is 5 fourths minus 1 z equals 7 well let's see so 9 times 5 uh, that's 45 over 4 minus z equals 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add z to both sides. So that would give me a positive z on the right. And then I'm going to subtract the 7 from both sides. So we would have to get common denominators. So 45 over 4. We could multiply top and bottom by 4. And that would give us 28 over 4 equals z. Well, let's see, 45 minus 28, I believe that's going to give us 17 over 4. And now we know our z value as well. Okay, so we have z is 17 fourths. We knew already, we had figured out that x was 5 fourths. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to one of my very original equations. Uh, these were the three equations we were playing with. And I'm just going to uh, use one of those. I'll plug in my x value, I'll plug in my z value, and then I'll be able to solve for y. So I don't know, I'm just going to use the first one here at random. It doesn't matter which one you use. 
So we have uh, 2 times x, which we said was 5 over 4, minus y plus z, and we, we figured out just a second ago that z was 17 over 4. So uh, 2 times 5 fourths minus y plus z, which is 17 over 4. That's going to equal positive 3. And now I just have to do the arithmetic and figure out what value y is. Um, we could cancel, but since the denominators are 4s anyway, I'm just going to leave it alone. So we would have uh, 10 fourths minus y plus 17 over 4 equals 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add y to both sides. That would bring my y to the right side. Um, the 10 fourths, I'm going to leave that on the left. The positive 17 over 4, I'm going to leave that on the left. We would have to subtract 3 from both sides, which, which would be 3 over 1 if we get common denominators. Uh, we would have to multiply top and bottom by 4. And then on the left side, we would have 10 plus 17, which would be 27. And then it looks like we would get minus 3 times 4, or 12. That would be our y value. And if we simplify, 27 minus 12 would be 15 over 4. And that's our y value. So we now have our solution. It says um, x would have to be 5 fourths, y would have to be 15 over 4, and the z value would be 17 over 4. So this one, again, was a little nicer just because simply uh, when we did the second step, actually two of the, uh, you know, two of the variables immediately canceled out. So certainly made life a little bit easier in this example.